that period of reflection showed that many voters believed that the national rally should not be entrusted with uh, running the government, that their policy uh, proposals are too extreme, uh, not just in terms of expelling immigrants, uh, but also in terms of what they want to do with the economy. Um, and th at a time when the French uh, uh, economy is very deeply in debt and r runs the risk of running afoul of their partners. There's deep historical reluctance to trust the far right because France was a Nazi occupied country during World War II. And uh, ever since then, there's been uh, great distrust and fear about, uh, about seeing uh, radical extremes uh, take over the government. I think Macron's uh, authority will be strengthened, at least in the short term, because of the unsettled uh, situation for the other parties. Um, and having a caretaker government continue in office means that the president will be uh, the, uh, the, the, the key figure in, in determining the course of, uh, of France and also its, uh, its presence on the world stage. For now, I think uh, the uh, existing government under uh, Prime Minister Gabriel Attal, who is a Macron ally, will continue in office, certainly through the Olympics uh, later this month, which is a uh, a uh, great source of, of pride and uh, uh, for the country of France, and they want to make sure that it goes very well. So having a uh, stable um, uh, governing situation is important. But beyond that, there will be negotiations uh, with the new uh, popular front on the left uh, to see whether they can come up with a uh, a slate of candidates for prime minister, uh, which uh, and that person would be chosen by Macron. So he has the key levers of power in determining the shape of the next government.